so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, we are unboxing the Test Tube Beauty for March 2020. My Test Tube playlist will be linked to watch previous unboxings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Let's get unboxing. So Test Tube usually comes in a box because there are some products on the outside and I'll go through those first before we unbox the tube. We have three products on the outside. The first two products, I'm a little concerned, but we have the Vagisil Bath Bombs. Each one of them retails for $3.99 and it is for women who enjoy nothing more than a relaxing soak in a hot bath. These bath bombs are specifically formulated with sensitivity and pH balance in mind to create the ultimate experience. Uh, I never <laughs> thought about that when purchasing bath bombs, not gonna lie. I don't know, it just doesn't cross my mind. I just get lost in Lush going, ooh, this bath bomb is cute, this smells good. I don't really think of, is this gonna upset the V? Okay, I am gonna keep one for myself. I'm gonna give one to Catherine. We always get each other gag gifts and I luckily accumulated some products for the V in subscription boxes last year. That was her gag gift. We were at Target one time. When you go down the aisle, for the V. They have products to help freshen up. They have one aerosol, I kid you not, has the most vicious spray. More vicious than the Bella Perry A setting spray. I don't have it anymore because it is in the Mac Fix container, but it's essentially like spraying your face with the hose. And us being mature adults, we died laughing. Luckily no one saw us. I'm sure the whole store could hear us, but we walked away before anyone could see what we were up to. I solemnly swear we are up to no good. I definitely think this is a low value item for test tube. I've never seen something in just single digits before. It's nice that you get two, but you can get Vagisil items at the drugstore. Test tube beauty is supposed to be a luxury subscription I thought so it's just a little surprising to see something like that in the subscription box and then the other item that wasn't in the tube this is the oral gin new pearl advanced teeth whitening and this retails for $19.95 and it's for sensitive teeth it is hundred percent peroxide free whitens up to eight shades in one week. I do have some coffee staining on my teeth and especially since I've started drinking my coffee black, I'm sure that's gonna accelerate the staining. I don't drink sweet tea. I do drink hot mint tea and then hibiscus lemonade. There's no fluoride, no sulfates, no GMOs, no gluten, no artificial color. It is clinically proven and patented technology over 99% natural ingredients. And for sensitive teeth, I actually have really sensitive teeth. I used to whiten my teeth all the time. I was addicted to using the Crest 3D white strips and my teeth got to the point of sensitivity. If I went to the dentist, they couldn't even fully clean my teeth because of how bad it hurt. Oh my gosh, I was in tears at one point and they told me to stop using the white strips. Well, I have stopped using the damn white strips and here we go, not fully white teeth. And it makes me so sad because teeth is one thing I notice about everyone. When we're having a conversation, I'm looking at your teeth or your eyebrows. I don't know why my eyes just automatically go to those two features, but they do. And this is what the tip looks like. So I'm not gonna take it right now, but I guess you just go on the teeth that you can see. Maybe I'll track my progress via Instagram of, all right, here's day one, day seven, day 14, day 28. Wait, we got a whitening thing in January's box. Now I'm thinking about it, I never tried it yet. Maybe Griffin will try that and I'll try this. We'll see. Twist the pen until the gel is visible. Apply a thin layer of gel on teeth. Target tough to reach spaces in between teeth for flawless results. Smile for 30 seconds and rinse after 10 to 20 minutes. Use daily as needed to maintain your whiter smile. For one after after treatment, avoid eating, drinking, and tobacco use. So you're supposed to apply, smile, and then leave on 10 to 20 minutes. I'll probably leave it on towards the 20 minutes, especially if it's formulated for sensitive teeth, so I shouldn't really be feeling anything. But I'm curious to see if this actually does help. I could use it, especially on this tooth. I joke that this is my dead tooth, and my dentist told me that teeth can actually die. I nearly cried and had a meltdown. And I told her, I looked her in the face and said, this is why I haven't been to the dentist in years. But she was very surprised I didn't have any cavities. I told her that I grew up with a fairly odd parents with Chip Skylark singing my shiny teeth and me. I am terrified to get a cavity. All right, let's take off the tube. Oh, there it goes. All right, and it is nice and stuffed. Oh, another single digit item from the drugstore. This is the Daily Concepts Multifunctional Soap Sponge, Mother of Pearl. 
Okay. Retails for $5. This is a multifunctional soap meets sponge infused with luxurious brightening ingredient mother of pearl. I guess these two-in-one sponge soap products are becoming a trend because I also got one for your body from Boxy Lux. I'm gonna give this to Griffin. He could clean his face. He sees all my skincare on our bathroom sinks. Yep, it spills over to his sink. You would think he would want to get motivated cleaning his face, but he doesn't. Maybe since this is a two-in-one, he might. You wet the skin and soap sponge with warm water, cleanse skin in circular motions to lather and exfoliate. It can be used on both face and the body. For care, squeeze excess water from sponge after each use and store in a soap dish or dry area. I really don't need an item like this because I have my skincare routine. I also have my body care items that I like for the shower. I have an organics exfoliator and then Bath and Body Works shower gel. So I don't really need that for like my body. As I mentioned, I got one similar in my boxy look. So I just don't need it for the body. I mean, it sounds cool, but it's just not practical for me. Is this another? Wait, I have seen this tube and brand packaging before by Avent. Oh, it's different. Okay, I was gonna say, is this another damn sleep mask? I mean, the sleep mask isn't bad. It's just overpriced. Ah, this is where the value of the tube is coming from. Like I said, overpriced on the sleep mask. This is the Avent Gentle Rose Beautifying Face Exfoliant. This retails for $114. Avent, I think, is very overpriced. <laughs> I don't think that this tiny tube, 1.69 fluid ounces of exfoliant, needs to be $114. But it is nice to receive in a subscription box. It's just, I would never go out of my way for $114. No thank you. But it has rose in it. I do like rose for my skin. It helps calm down your redness, and it also helps enhance hydration and lock your moisture in. This is an antioxidant rich exfoliant that helps contribute to a smoother, softer, and more hydrated, haha, <laughs> keyword rose, <laughs> complexion, all while prepping the skin for a better ingredient penetration. Not the best phrase to use penetration. Gotta love pitch perfect. Oh, it does look nice and refined. And this is what it looks like on the hand. Definitely feels a little bit more conglomerate than straight up exfoliator. I definitely see how it's a lot softer than a typical exfoliator. I like how gentle that it feels. It does have a grit to it, but it's a very gentle grit, not like coffee grounds or not like that sand feeling that a lot of exfoliators have. And it definitely smells like rose in a good way. It makes me miss my Mamande Rose Toner. Next we have by the brand Wish. I didn't know Wish was still around. I stopped seeing it at Ulta and Nordstrom's, but this is the Renewing Mud Mask. I could use it. I'm having really bad texture and breakouts right here. And this retails for $48. This is an ultra luxury anti-aging mask that gently exfoliates and purifies for radiant skin. I like what this is saying. Apply a thin layer to face, begin by leaving on for 15 seconds and slowly working up to two minutes. Remove mask with water in a circular motion can be used one to two times per week. Oh, that's a very quick mask. I don't think I've ever seen a mask in a component like this. Usually they're jars and you scoop it, put it on your face, but no, you get a pump. All right, I'm excited to give this a shot. $48 is a little bit more expensive on the mask side. I think my old Henriksen cold plunge is around the same price point. My Glam Glow mask is definitely about $20 more. So I think it's a fair price, but there are definitely more affordable options when it comes to masks. I'm really shocked to see how quick of a mask this is and it's not one that you leave on 10 to 20 minutes. Ooh, what is this? This is the Daily Dose Miracle Moisture Leave-In Conditioner. Retails for $17.99. I like this bottle. It's 8.5 fluid ounces. Helping the frizz a little bit. All right. Not bad. I love leave-in products like these after I get out of the shower when my hair is wet and then I run a brush through. Oh, it makes my hair super soft the next morning. It is a hard-working leave-in hair conditioner spray that instantly detangles, eliminates frizz. Wow, I noticed that right away after using it. Protects hair and adds shine without any harsh chemicals. Very nice. I don't really need shine to my hair. I just need the reduction of frizz as well as detangling. All this hair gets tangled up real quick. <laughs> I've used these before. 
think I've used the same exact pack before. This is a sample size. They are the Dr. Dennis Gross Skincare Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peel. You can buy these at Sephora. Another good old story about Catherine. She had these and she used one. Out of everyone that I know, she has the most sensitive skin. She couldn't even handle one use out of these. And her mom and her mom's best friend all had them. They can use them daily. She asked me, she asked me if I've ever used these. And I said, I've never used anything by Dr. Dennis Gross before. She ended up giving me the other two. So I tried them and I said, I know I've only used two of them, but I haven't noticed any burning or sensitivity, increase in redness. And it's unfortunate because they actually work out really nice. They're expensive, but they're nice. I feel bad that she can't use them. I'm always hesitant recommending products for her because of how sensitive her skin is. It's funny because she went out to Ulta and bought some Tula products and I said, be aware! Because Tula likes to formulate a lot of the products in fragrance. They work out nice, but the fragrance can go. And I told her if her face acted up a little bit, it could be the fragrance. I haven't heard anything yet, so it might not be irritating her skin. I'm really excited for these. I just haven't bought a full size because I really like my Bliss ones and I got some Elemis ones from 21 Days of Beauty because they were half off. This this is something I would consider purchasing in the future if they weren't as expensive. And then the last product, how is this a deodorant? What? This is my Piper Y Activated Charcoal Deodorant and it retails for $11.99. I don't think I've ever seen deodorant in a jar. What? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's this weird salt. Oh, it smells minty. And am I gonna rub it on my armpit? Is that it? Deodorized? What is this? Essential oil scent for sensitive skin. That explains the eucalyptus mint I'm smelling. How to use. A little goes a long way. You only need a pea size amount. I don't think it has a good spreadability. So I don't think a pea size may be enough. I feel like I'm just gonna slab it on like this and see. Pea size. Armpit, I already have deodorant. Luckily my pits are shaved. Um. This is harder than it looks. I have really sensitive pits, not the most feel good way of applying deodorant. I really enjoyed my tube, even with the sample size because I've had, had experience with these and they are expensive. So I know you're only receiving three, but I'd rather receive three than none. I know I just used this, but I really liked what it did for my frizz and I'm gonna continue to use this. I'm almost out of my It's a 10 leave-in conditioner. So this is definitely gonna be taking its place ASAP. I'm really excited for both these products. I think these items are a little bit more expensive, especially this one is overpriced, but I really like exfoliators and masks. These items definitely excite me from the tube. I'm indifferent about these two items. I'm more excited about this whitening pen because this is something I'm going to get a lot of use out of. This is just some weird deodorant. I mean, it smells fantastic and I hope that it helps my sensitive pits, but I don't like how you apply this. It's just a little bit more difficult than I like to apply deodorant. I'd love to know if you guys get Test Tube Beauty. And once again, I forgot to talk about Test Tube Beauty. Test Tube Beauty is about $30 a month. You also pay for shipping and each tube retails for over $175, I think. I definitely think that the value is there with this month's tube, despite the two drugstore items that were single digits. It's also a bi-monthly subscription, so the next one will be May, and I am looking forward to May's. I think January's and March's aren't like the best tubes that we've seen in the past, but there's still a lot of good items in it, and I still definitely think it's worthwhile, especially if you enjoy testing out more skincare. And it looks like there was no variations to this month's tube. I'd love to know how these products work out for you. What was your favorite and least favorite products? And do you plan on keeping test tube for May? Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways, and I'll see you in the next video.